So it's been nine days since a series of Hamas massacres began this war. Charlie Daggett traveled to one of the communities devastated on October 7th and found people there who were heartbroken and angry that weren't that they were not better protected. I want to warn you, of course, his report includes some graphic images. This is what remains of the Kafar Azad kibbutz, a quiet farming community torn apart in a murderous rampage. Explosions ring out as Colonel Golan Vak, commander of Israel's National Rescue Unit, leads us through the blackened ruins. There, lying at our feet, the body of a gunman. You can still see the beast here in this bed. Two women were lying. He was sitting here and shot everyone uh, that stepped outside. Militants went house to house, systematically executing the families inside. 66 people found dead on this street alone. A lot of children? A lot of children. Some of the children tried to hide behind these bushes, and they found them, and they slaughtered them, and they were happy. It took Israeli troops 12 hours after the assault began to regain control. By that time, dozens were dead or missing. Amid the unspeakable heartbreak, there is growing anger. We're just over a mile to Gaza. Why wasn't this community better protected? And what took Israeli forces so long to get here? We failed, period. We failed protecting the civilians. Uh, it shouldn't be happened. Not like this, never. Charlie Daggett, Kafar Azar Kibbutz, Israel.